Hi, I'm Patrick Swick. Uh, I played bass with the Utah Symphony for uh, almost 40 years, and uh, the last part of my career I was also the symphony's librarian. And I have been coming to this store in various locations since uh, high school, I think. At any rate, uh, in 2002, uh, we hosted a, a symphony librarians convention here. And I was telling people my favorite places to go, like the Red Iguana or Intermountain Guitar and Banjo, and of course, Sam Weller's Iron Bookstore. And I got so many emails from librarians all over the world who were ready to come back to Salt Lake City just to come back to, to, to uh, Zion Bookstore. They just love this place, particularly the, the used books. Uh, I've known Sam and Tony for many, many years, and uh, one day I was talking to Sam uh, about Marlena Dietrich. I was on this kick for many years where I used to buy a lot of used German books here, and, and I loved to listen to Marlena sing songs, and one of her uh, most famous songs was Lily Marlene. And Sam told me this story about when he was stationed in North Africa during the Second World War, uh, guarding prisoners of war, uh, Germans from Rommel's army, and they were uh, and they would sing Lily Marlene, you know, for the Caserna, for the Ofen Tour, and it was it was just I don't know there was a poignancy to the way Sam told this, and I saw these these young men. Uh, our enemies then uh, singing this song that resonated with their sense of Heimat, our homeland, and many other wonderful conversations uh, discovering books here. I've loved this store for so many years, and I wish Tony and his staff all the success in finding just the right place so that the legacy of Sam Weller's Iron Bookstore goes on for my children.